I think, and for what it's worth, what I think is so unlikely to become approximate reality that we should just lay that out there. I think Facebook, Amazon, Google uh, should all, and maybe even Apple, voluntarily propose some sort of self-breakup plan. You know, industrial companies do this all the time. Units become big, investors have a hard time pricing them, so they spin them off. Dow DuPont, you know, converged, and then they broke themselves up last week. It's not as if companies don't do this for all sorts of reasons having to do with both financial and efficiencies. The proximate reason here is regulation is coming, and a la Julia's point, I think that there is a degree of, a, of awareness on this on the part of Facebook and others. I mean, how could there not be, given congressional hearings and concerns over privacy? But I think in a lot of ways there's a good deal, deal of denial or scoffing or thinking if we just spend a lot of money on K Street lobbyists, we'll be able to shape the regulation and, and, and downgrade it. I just think that that is historically... These com companies are really powerful, incredibly wealthy. Regulation is coming, and but they that's, can sort of but get that in front of it. But, that, Julia, that could be genius because forget about fate. Whatever industry you're in, if you effectively regulate yourself, if you sort of write the rules through your lobbyists, you can block competition because you build the framework of the regulatory schema that other smaller players who maybe want to become the next Facebook, they can't do it. They can't even afford the regulatory compliance measures. Well, this is the, the key issue with regulation, and Mark Zuckerberg has said explicitly he wants other people to write the rules because he has recognized that if Facebook regulates itself and does not get actual uh, you know, federal legislation, that they're going to be criticized for just creating rules that don't really limit them or aren't really sort of effective in any reasonable way. So I think what situation we're in right now is Zuckerberg has made proposals for things that Facebook believes would be useful as rules of the road for this, these new range of industries. But I think what's really challenging, and Zuckerberg has even pointed this out, is you don't want to regulate so mm -hmm. much that it limits innovation, but you also don't want to regulate in ways that are only sort of predictive, you know, predictable or useful to Facebook. But Zach, you yeah, get my point. It's false kindness on the point of these companies saying, hey, regulate us, please. Right. They and know I think it fact, can block competition. And I think that's going to backfire on them. So the reality is, there is this game going on where they've been so loosely regulated that, that as much as people are saying, hey, this is going to happen, you know, this happened to railroads and it happened to utilities and it happened to telecommunications firms, it's going to happen to you by virtue of just sheer concentration of power and platform. There will be animosity slash concern about the public sphere. And the only way that this is going to be done without it being incredibly messy is if these companies start to do some of that themselves.